All right, Nick, let's talk about the Florida Gators. The Gators have had a lot of turnover this offseason, but they've also brought in a lot of really, really good players, most notably Graham Mertz at the quarterback position. And we have some inspiring words of confidence today about Graham Mertz and kind of how this team is getting behind the new transfer quarterback. Yeah, Myers, I agree with you. This is really an incredible update involving Mertz. But before we talk about the future and Mertz's involvement in the Florida Gators future, let's take a step back. And I got a question, really interesting question for you Florida Gator fans. Who is the greatest quarterback in Florida Gators history? This is a very hard question. Look, I know a lot of people will say Tim Tebow, but I want you to really stress your minds here. Obviously, you got Spurrier, you got Danny Warfel. I think Rex Grossman doesn't get enough credit. I was a big Chris Leak guy growing up. I know he doesn't really belong with those guys, but I was a fan. But let us know who you think the best quarterback in Florida Gators history is, and let us know who that guy is in the comment section below. But all right, Miles, what you got? What's the latest update at the quarterback position? All right, Nick. While everyone knows Florida's spring game wasn't necessarily the best game, Mertz did have a good first half of the game, a terrible second half of the game. The first half of the game, he was 18 of 29, 244 yards and a touchdown. Not too bad. Second half, not so good. But Nick, despite all of that, despite everything, there is a special person on this team already who still believes in Graham Mertz and gave him very, very high praise. I'm going to go to the article here just for a second. Nick, they said... During an interview with Dave Waters of Gators Breakdown Podcast in collaboration with the Gators Collective, incoming freshman wide receiver Andy Jean was asked about his new quarterback and had nothing but praise. He said, Joe Burrow transferred in from another school and I feel like he, meaning Graham Mertz, is another Joe Burrow because he actually loves the game and he is more detailed mentally. Well, Nick, that is all we need to hear to give us a little bit of confidence, a little bit of inspiration about Mertz. He is going to be fine. I think he's going to rebound from a shaky spring game because he does love the game of football. He's a competitor. He wants to go out there and be the best he can be. He's very detailed in his film study and is going over his notes, studying the playbook. I think he's going to get under him, but transferring teams, transferring offenses, all that kind of stuff is tricky to go through, especially with such vast differences from a team like Wisconsin to a team like Florida. But I think he's going to get it here, and I think his teammates, especially his wide receivers, believe in him, and they think he can be as special as someone like Joe Burrow, who transferred from Ohio State to LSU and then took that team all the way to the national championship. But, Nick, I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think about Mertz so far, and what do you think about Gene's comments about Mertz? So one of the things people forget about transferring is right. you got to understand this is a college kid. This is an 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 year old kid who is uprooting his entire life, right? All of his friends, all of his, you know, classes, where he lives, his coaches, his entire support structure and moving somewhere completely brand new and trying to start all that over. Look, that's hard for anybody. You ask, you know, I had to move recently for my own day to day job. And listen, that's hard, right? You move completely to a different state. You got new bosses, you got new coworkers. It takes some, uh, you know, getting used to getting acclimated to the new surroundings. And until you get acclimated, you're more liable to some uh, variance in performance. That's just going to happen. And one of the things I think the other thing people forget of what makes it even harder is he's going from Wisconsin. Big Ten, I love the Big Ten. I'm a big fan of Big Ten football, but it's just not the same competitive-wise as SEC. It just isn't. And frankly, it isn't even that close outside of maybe Ohio State and probably Michigan, maybe Michigan. But even then, I'm not so sure about that. There's really no level of competition that comes remotely close to the SEC in the Big Ten. And so you talk about just immediate just getting hit, hit in the mouth here. And that's kind of what Mert, uh, Mertz is going through here, right? Obviously, uprooted his entire life, new coaches, new system, all that kind of stuff and then introduced to SEC football. And look, we always kind of knew if we took a step back and were realistic that there was going to be some bumps and bruises. I'm kind of glad that the coaching staff kind of threw him to the fire a little bit during spring to hopefully get a lot of the bad stuff out of him, give him plenty of reps, allow him to work through some of the bad, get more comfortable with what he's going to work, work, work with. Now he's playing against SEC competition. So from that perspective, I think it's a good sign going forward that he's gone through it. And look, you brought up the Joe Burrow comp. Joe Burrow wasn't Joe Burrow until his final season at LSU. You look at his numbers, uh, his second to last season at LSU, the first his first year starting with the program, the guy completed what fifty less than fifty eight percent of his passage, at, uh, averaged seven point six yards passing attempt, only through sixteen touchdown passes. Right, he wasn't really he was a quality okay, a little bit above average quarterback, but he was nowhere near what he would become the following year. And that's because, like I said, it takes time to get acclimated when you're transferring, and that's especially so when you're going from a Big Ten program to an SEC program. So I'm not surprised Mertz is going through some struggles, and I think the fact that his receivers are sticking with him is a good sign that he'll figure it out and be good for Florida down the stretch. 
Yeah, Nick, and some other things to note about the spring game and why things could have gone the way they were is, one, they had a lot of defensive transfers come in and really shine in the Florida spring game. The defense looks very, very strong. But also, Nick, their starting center, Kingsley, I'm going to butcher his last name, but Egu Kuhn uh, was also out for the spring game as well. And when your starting center is out, kind of screws you up a little bit. But nonetheless, I think Mertz did admirably. I think it's good. He gets all the jitters out now. He goes against this, uh, what looks like a very strong defense early on. And like you said, he gets a taste of some real SEC football. I think it's great that he gets a wake-up call from his own team, rather it be the first game on game day.